Empirical evidence supporting the existence of varied levels of mind in living organisms and inanimate material. Based on Tahiri's theory introduced in the 1980s, consciousness is defined as the fundamental element of the universe from which information, matter, and energy spring forth. The emergence of this non-physical entity necessitates a receiver or detector. Muhammad Ali Tahiri is a spiritual teacher, theorist, and the founder of Erfan Hagge Spiritual Group. He is also the founder of Cosmo Intel Research Center for Consciousness Fields Studies. Conscious experience in human depends on brain activity, so neuroscience focuses on nervous system to explain this elusive phenomenon. Moreover, there are single cell organisms like Paramecium, which exhibits the remarkable abilities of swimming, learning, and responding to stimuli despite lacking a complex nervous system. This logic behavior has been attributed to their internal microtubules. However, it has been reported that the use of an antimicrotubular agent to disrupt microtubule dynamics did not impair the learning of paramecium. This suggests that these tubular structured polymers may not be vital for the learning behavior in this organism. Historically, two main perspectives can be identified. Dualism describes consciousness as a non-physical entity separate from the physical body, whereas physicalism views it as an integral part of the material world. Additionally, panpsychism states that consciousness is inherent in all things. However, a fundamental problem with panpsychism is that it does not generate testable prediction. Tahiri's theory assumes that every component of this frequency-based world, from molecules to complex organisms, functions as hardware relying on specific software programs with diverse information indexes to define their functions. This software part, which acts as a management system, can be regarded as the mind. In this approach, the mind is seen as having different levels, starting with the basic mind of matter, which serves as a common basis in the universe. The subsequent level is the intrinsic or biological mind present in all living organisms. This perspective justifies the logical behavior observed in single cell organisms as a form of mental life. Lastly, the perceptual mind specific to humans provides the ability to ask questions and perceive abstract concepts. To substantiate these claims, scientific evidence becomes essential, requiring empirical support. Additionally, there are various consciousness fields that involve non-physical entities. These fields can be investigated through laboratory experiments offering a valuable opportunity to comprehend the notion of consciousness. Accordingly, the effects of tea consciousness fields on living organisms and various metals have been extensively evaluated. Over several years of experimentation, significant alterations in the properties and behavior of the subjects under a study have been observed when exposed to T consciousness fields. For instance, the application of these fields enhance the salinity esterase resistance of wheat plants and improve the survival of cell lines. However, it had a reducing effect on the population of bacteria and the pH of pure water. Additionally, T-consciousness fields were found to alter the mechanical properties of steel. In conclusion, these observations suggest that information may be transmitted through T-consciousness fields, 
Moreover, it seems that the subjects under a study necessarily require a level of mind to permit their interaction with uh, these non-energetic and non-material uh, fields and to receive information from them. Thanks for your attention.